Okay, here we are again with the KTRS ones. Um, I mentioned in a previous segment that I wanted to resolder this and, and test it and see how it went. I've done that and I can report that the tuner module works, but when I play a tape I get uh, no sound. Not I get sound, but it's not the recording of the tape. It's just basically noise and um, it sounds a bit like motor noise and who knows what other sort of rubbish in there. So I'm not exactly sure what's the cause of that. Um, I've never been able to actually test that the tape ever worked, the tape play ever worked, but the tuner, tuner pad did did always work. Um, the initial problem that I had was there's a bad solder joint on this um, jack and that caused, uh, you know, sounds only come out of one side or, you know, you could wiggle it around, but um, that was the first issue and then the other issue was the belt was obviously just... Uh, you know, you basically just liquefied in there. So, I don't really know what the, the problem is. Uh, my best bet at this point is probably I've got to try and get this second unit working, uh, just fix the mechanics enough. It needs a new belt, it needs the old belt obviously cleaned out of it, and the, um, the take up spools and things like that, they need to be. Uh, I need to transfer them from here into this one so that's going to be a bit of mucking around but that might actually be my my better chance of getting a working walkie out of these two um, just to also as a bit of interest just to show what the tuner pack looks like it's that's it it looks like a cassette uh, you've got your tuning dial here doesn't actually operate through the head uh, which is how I, when I saw the photo of it originally, that's how I thought it worked. But in fact, you know, there's six pins here. Um, they supply the power and, you know, transfer the audio. And I think uh, one of them is also, it, it connects the, uh, probably the earth wire of the uh, headphones jack, and that becomes your antenna. Because um, obviously if you want... Um, Good reception you actually have to extend the, the antenna out and or the headphones out and uh, you know muck around with the position of that but it does actually work um, so I'm quite quite pleased that that, that works um, this particular one it will tell you when it's tuned but it doesn't say stereo so I don't think this is a stereo pack some of the later models they were actually stereo and they have a separate light for the stereo so yeah, I wouldn't actually mind getting my hands on one of those, but only if I get one of these actually working. I don't really want to spend any more money on, on these. Um, it's a nice solution, I guess, but yeah, there you go. So for the time being, um, you know, a little bit frustrated with the whole thing. Um, it was kind of good to come back to it after working on some of the other projects because, you know, initially it's like looking very complicated and all that, but in fact... It's not that difficult. It's not really all that much to these. The only real issue with them is that they're actually, you know, very tiny, very small, and can be quite difficult to work on. So yeah, that's about all I've got to, to say about these for the moment. So I'm going to explore my options and see if I can figure anything else out from these. But uh, I think uh, the next step will be to try and get this red one um, operational and, and just see if we can't get um, some sound out of it. Um, the only thing I don't actually like about the red one is that the heads look in worse condition than, than this one. Maybe they just polish out.